it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am back with a makeup tutorial. I feel like it's been a long time since I've sat here and actually done a makeup tutorial. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite summer look. And right now, I'm all about the very tan, bronzy kind of a face and also with eyes that are a little bit more vibrant, warm browns of shades with peaches and a little bit more on the mauve brown, warm tone. I don't know if this is making sense, but this is the look that I have been rocking this spring and I will continue to rock into summer. It's just my favorite go-to with not much of a, you know me, if you've seen my previous uh, makeup tutorials or past tutorials, I'm really heavy on the blush, but this time it's very muted. It's very bronzy, just using a bronzer, no blush type of a look, focusing on contour and highlighting a lot and making eyes pop. So if you guys are interested in the makeup look I am wearing right now, keep on watching. So I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows and if you guys are interested in a more updated version of how I do my brows and my foundation, leave a comment down below so I can do a separate video on just that. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the eyeshadow look. And as I said, this is going to be a summer makeup tutorial, so I really want it to be a little bit vibrant but more warm on the peachy brown and just very bronze glowy type of a look. So let's just get into the eyeshadow. So today I'll be working out of the Peach Palette from Too Faced and the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. These two are very much alike, however I feel like this um, eyeshadows that the color choices they have in the Naked Heat are a lot more strong and a lot more um, vibrant versus this is a little bit more subtle so I'm going to play with both and just start from there. So I'm just going to take the color Peaches and Cream and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. This is just going to create a really nice foundation and just get this really nice smooth area to work with. From the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, I'm going to be taking the color Low Blow. It's a very nice warm brown. It's very pigmented so try to grab a little bit at a time so that you won't make it so dark at the first time and I'm just going to apply that right into my crease. And for those girls like me who have monolids, it's, we, don't def, we don't really have a crease. So what I like to do as a tip is before I go into it, I will take like my whatever brush I'm using. I'm just going to like dip it into the socket and then that's where I know where my crease is. And so this will be my transition shade. As you can see, it's a very nice warm brown, but it's still in like that peachy family because it's warm. Back into the peach palette, I'm going to be taking this really bright peachy pink color and this is called Candied Peach and I'm going to apply this right where I applied the brown but a little bit lower and just kind of get that nice peach hues mixed into the warm browns. Back into the Naked Heat palette, I'm going to be taking the color Enfugo and it's like a more like a burgundy darker shade but it's still in the warm tones so it's gonna look really nice once we pop that into the inner corner and deepen the look and make it a little bit more smoky and this shade's just gonna tie in the just peachy color that we use from the Too Faced palette and just tie it all in together for my lid color I'm gonna be using the color Georgia and it's this very soft pink color and this is just going to make everything look more soft even though we use some brighter shades but this will kind of mute everything down and keep it still very soft. For the pop of color right in the inner corners I'm going to be using the shade Nectar in the peach palette as well and this has a little bit of shimmer so I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corner. To make everything pop and for the bottom lash line I'm gonna smoke it out so I'm gonna go back into the Naked Heat palette and I'm gonna be using the color Enfugo and I'm gonna run that in my lower lash line So we're going to move on to the face because we just finished the eyes. We are going to be making sure we are glowing, bronzy, and very summer looking. 
We, I'm going to be using the Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. It has a few warm shades for contouring and a few cool shades for contouring. And the powders down here are very nice, very smooth, great finishes. So I'm going to go ahead and start my contouring. I usually like to take a fluffier brush for my forehead area because I want it to look very seamless and not very like sharp or anything. I just want to create some shadows around it. So I usually like to use the color Angle and I'll mix it with Princess Cut. So these two shades and then I'll make sure I dust off. And with a light hand, I'm going to slowly start from the top here and go in circular motions. You want to make sure you get into the hairline because you don't want to look like you have contour floating from the hairline. So I like to just start there in circular motions and work my way towards the middle. Do not get contour in this area because you still want the center of your face to be very bright. So I just like to do that and I'll do the same on the other side. Get close to the hairline and work your way in the middle. Do my forehead. I feel like I have a pretty big forehead, so I like to make sure I contour it. A lot of girls can get away with it when they don't have that big of space, but I have that space, so I'm going to make sure it is good to go. And I'm going to start from the very edge of my hairline as well, and bring it in three-fourths of your face or a little bit more than, less than half. You don't want to go too far because you can drag your face, so you want to just keep it to about maybe like where your eyebrow stops. You can use a sharper brush if you like. I just liked a very soft one, just the more fluffy one, just so it doesn't look so harsh because I like my contour style a little bit more soft. Then I'm going to usually take a bigger brush and then I'll blend out more for a very soft look. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. And if it does help to do a fish face, go for it. <laughs> product you have left in your brush, go ahead and also get your jaw area. You want to make sure everything is nice and even and chiseled. So also take a fluffier brush and make sure everything is nice pressed into the face. I'm going to be taking the same brush and this time I'm just going to be using the lighter shades to make the contour a little bit more apparent. I'm going to just kind of make a line down here and kind of cut through. And then I'm going to take my favorite bronzer of the moment from Too Faced and it is the Sweet Tea Bronzer. And I'm going to be using this for my blush as well because I don't really want to add any color. I just want this to be very glowy, bronzy, summertime look. And I like that it has some shimmer so it's going to make everything look like I'm glowing. Into highlighting, I pulled up my Anastasia Glow Kit. It's been a while and I love the shades that are in this specific glow kit because a lot of them are really nice, warm. Highlighter is great for summertime. So I'm taking a fluffier brush. We're going to be using the Golden Dawn and I'm going to mix a little bit with the Sun Ray. And then we're going to just go ahead and highlight. Ooh, look at that pop. Oh, I love Anastasia's highlighters. They're so buttery and easy to blend. For the lips, I'm going to keep it neutral since everything is very warm and glowing. I'm going to be using my favorite color from MAC, and it is no other than Velvet Teddy. I'm sure it's the whole internet's favorite. It just goes so well with everything. 
Well, there you guys have it for my summer makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the look that I featured on my channel today. Leave a comment down below if you are interested to see more makeup videos from me or skincare videos or what do you suggest you want to see on my channel. I am always up for suggestions. Or if you want to say hi, go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I have just so many things I want to share with you guys that are coming up on my channel. So get excited. And I just want you guys to subscribe hit the notification bell buttons Ooh, that was a tongue twister hit the notification bell button so you guys can get notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys bye